Today we're going to find out whether Onward was a hit or a miss for me. Welcome back and welcome to another movie reviews video. I make movie reviews here every Sunday on this channel so you're going to want to subscribe so you don't miss out on what I have to say about subsequent films in the weeks to come. Um, today I decided that I had only seen two films at the cinemas this week um, so I would just talk about one of those um, because that is the kind of major new release that I want to talk about and then if I don't end up seeing anything at the cinema this week for whatever reason that might be that we're not going to talk about here um, I still have something to talk about with you next week. Um, my movie reviews are always spoiler free so I went to see Onward and I saw it in the Dolby format which is a large screen and very dark cinema and lots and lots of of speakers they have speakers in the seats as well so sometimes when you get big action happening or like when I saw a star is born and it was the concerts and she was singing um, you get a kind of rumble effect in the seats um, so onward is here's the general premise uh, set in a suburban fantasy world, two teenage brothers embark on a quest to discover if there is still magic out there. Uh, but what you need to know about this one is that the two brothers are voiced by Tom Holland and Chris Pratt. And we have other voices like Julia Louis Dreyfus, Octavia Spencer, Ali Wong attached to this film. And to be fair, I was sold on the two brothers being voiced by Tom Holland and Chris Pratt. Like that sold it for me um, and I have to say I did absolutely love this film. I cried more than once um, which I know Pixar and I mean Disney to some extent like to do to you anyway but I didn't expect to cry at a film that features kind of like stray unicorns roaming around and pet dragons being a thing. Um, I didn't see that one coming. But um, the general storyline of this one is that um, Ian gets a present from his dad on his, I think it's his 18th birthday, it might be his 16th birthday, I couldn't quite gather that. Um, and it is basically a sort of magic spell and a magic, I want to say cane, but I don't mean that, like what he has in Lord of the Rings staff um, and he has the opportunity to bring his dad back and to um, spend a day with him and Ian's dad died when he was a baby so his older brother played by Chris Pratt and his mum have obviously met his dad but Ian hasn't really and so we see the usual things of Ian being a kind of bit of an outcast a bit of a a geek at school and not really having many friends and then his brother is still living at home even though he graduated school and is a bit of a kind of just bums around the house making things to do with magic but doesn't actually have any magical powers and then they go on this quest um and yeah it's a bit of a road trip movie I like a road trip movie or a road trip book um it is also uh, kind of like family is what you make it type of movie which I also love and then you've got this like you know that they're not actually Tom Holland and Chris Pratt but on the screen the kind of the chemistry you can imagine them like playing that out together in real life like if you like these actors in anything that they do and you have like the very kind of brief time that you've seen them on the screen together <clears throat> in Avengers um, then you're going to you're going to love their chemistry as animated figures. Um, I will say, if you are thinking of taking very young children to see this, there are some quite scary bits. And um, obviously, being in the Dolby Cinema, the sound was amplified, and there are some kind of sudden loud bits as well as some very loud bits where. Um, it made me jump a little bit. Obviously, I had the speakers in my seat, so sometimes we were like, "Whoa," um, and sometimes things are quite perilous you know when they have the film guidance and you get the mild peril thing uh, I would say quite perilous the animation 
in this film is just stunning. I, I came I came to this one just off the back of having watched the Pixar documentary, which I don't know why it's taken me this long to get around to watching it. I watched it on Netflix. And um, so seeing the development from those first Toy Story and Incredibles films to what we have now, one of the major things, and um, somebody pointed this out on Twitter, I can't remember who it was, is that um, Ian, Tom Holland's character, writes himself like little goal lists in a book with a biro, and the biro animation is just stunning. And the rest of the animation is just stunning. And yeah, it's just visually very, very beautiful. And you've got the, the kind of movie poster and the trailers are all this very like, purpley blue hue so when it's not an adventure time it's the, quite a calming color and so it's very pleasant to have on the screen um and i just enjoyed it for the animation the voices and then the storyline itself i can't tell you what made me cry because it's spoiler free and i can't tell you you know what happens on the quest because we're not doing spoilers here um but you can imagine that when they go off on this quest it's a whole thing and it has some really interesting things to say as well about the fact that they left magic behind and have kind of embraced modern life um, and the kind of more lazier aspects of modern life. There are some sprites who used to fly and don't fly anymore and that is addressed, the fact that they have this ability and they just can't because they don't or won't. Um, and that's really interesting too. But like I say, I like the fact that it's a bit of a road trip film. I like the fact that it's a family is what you make it. Traditional families are wonderful, but they're not the be all and end all. Um, and I love the animation and I love the voices. Um, so this was a massive hit for me. It's definitely something I will be watching again. Um, and I definitely recommend it. But as I say, young children, I would say, either go to a special screening where it's a little bit quieter and they keep the lights up because some of the sudden sounds and the loud sounds especially dragon moments quite scary um so yeah as i say make sure you subscribe so my next movie reviews video lands in your subscription feed i am hoping to go and see some more movies at the cinema this week um if you like my mug there is a discount code for enchanted fandom shop in the description box below if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and as always if you have suggestions of films you would like me to go and see in the cinemas this week we are now on limited releases so uh i'm probably going to end up seeing some things that i wouldn't normally see uh so do make suggestions and i'll come back to you next Next week with the uh, reviews of films you have suggested thank you very much for watching i will see you next week